Good afternoon, everybody. I hope you're doing well. Today we're going to talk about something very near and dear to my heart. About 20 years ago, when I was still kind of new to New York and a little naive, I parked my bicycle and I locked up my $600 bicycle with a $4 bike lock. And what do you think happened when I walked out of the restaurant? was gone. I walked all the way home, 48 blocks, sobbing like a little bitch because some douchebag stole my beloved Nishiki. So today we're going to be talking about what we can do as New Yorkers and as bicycle lovers in general to protect our bikes. One of the first things you want to do is never be a douchebag like this idiot. You see what? One, two, three, four, bicycle rim without a bicycle attack and you're going to chain your bike here not only has this bike been destroyed and stripped what they do is they come by they'll take a front rim and see he's got a really nice lock here you see and he locked up his back rim and he locked it to this pole and he did lock his front rim so he did all the right things and they still got him. Now, this yellow piece of paper right here is from the city of New York. And it basically says, look, uh, the Department of Bicycles uh, New York City is going to, derelict bicycles in New York City is going to uh, remove this within seven days. So what they do is they give you a notice that they're going to cut the lock off and throw it in the garbage because it's an eyesore in seven days. Well, this bike's been here about four years. This shit ain't going nowhere. The only thing that changes is that yellow sticker. When it gets rained on, they put a new one on. I guess they can't go around taking every bike that was stripped without the owner's consent. What we're going to do is show you how to lock up your bike without getting your shit taken. The first thing this dick did was he locked up his bike where there's a bunch of shit taken already. This guy's a douchebag. Don't be a douchebag. Now, New York City is a very bicycle friendly city. Obviously, it's the best way to get around. Because you could literally be anywhere in five or 10 minutes. This is something they've done the last few years and it's been extremely successful. This is City Bike, brought to you by Citibank. You could uh, swipe your card and you could rent a bike now there's 50 or 60 stations here and usually they are completely full this is where you take your bike when you're done using it for whatever time this guy's on a city bike right here very popular and uh you can see this this rack is completely empty people came today they put their little card in they swiped and they got themselves a bike you get a basket no frills this little light blinks when, you, when you're riding. Uh, look, look at this guy here. It's not a great bike. It's a piece of crap bike. But it's still somebody's bike. You can see he's got all the plastic on it because he locks it up and doesn't want to scratch it up. But uh, he's got the bike locked to this railing. So the bike's not going anywhere. The problem is... The rims can. Now with a crescent wrench you can take this rim in about six seconds. And a lot of them are quick release, so you can take them quicker than that. Um, I think he just doesn't care. What they'll typically do is someone will come and take your rim. Then you'll come back from your hard day's work and you can't ride your bike home, so you just leave it there. Well they come out at three in the morning. I call these guys gremlins. They come out at three in the morning and by the next day all your shit is gone pedals those are worth money three or four bucks the the cranks locks the seat a seat's 20 bucks anyway so they end up stripping it down and that's why bikes in this city uh probably in any city but certainly in new york i've noticed for years look at this guy he either is smart and he another another bike that's not that desirable but still worth if someone wants to steal shit. He took his seat 
The only reason I think he took it is because he put a little piece of paper so rain and stuff doesn't get in there. You know, This one here has been not only stripped, they took everything, but they uh, vandalized it. He's got a kryptonite lock, but they uh, they took his seed, his grapes, his uh, everything, everything they could get. Uh, this bike is a Schwinn. It's actually what used to be a nice bike. He locked it up here. And uh, they took his rims and his seat and his brakes. They took everything they could get. They probably didn't have a wrench to get his crank, so they'd be gone too. They left his kickstand. But New York City has tens of thousands of these bikes just chained up and everything stripped. He chained up his front and back and he's missing a seat. So today it seems like seats are what's going to be taken most. This guy, all these guys here, if you come today and you chain up your bike here, you're in it. This guy here, what they would do is they'd chain up their, their rim to this thing, and they'd come back and their rim would still be there, but the bike would be gone. Okay, here's another one. Now listen, I've passed a thousand. I'm only going to show you a few. I'd, I'd run out of battery if I tried to show you them all. They got his seat. They got his front rim. And he has a U-lock on there. Just through the back rim. You can see the back rim does not help you. This is a very undesirable bike. But he's got a U-lock. Front rim here. If they wanted the back rim... He took his bolts off and has these kind of things, so it's if you don't have a specific tool, you're just not taking it back. Go back. This guy did all the right things. He's got a lock on the back. He's got a lock on the front. But they still got his damn seat. And it's really hard to ride home to Brooklyn with no damn seat. So he leaves it here overnight, and then they start taking all the little pieces here and there. That's what they do. The gremlins come out at night. So shout out to this guy. You see he's got his bike locked to the pole. And he's got a nice big chain. And his back rim is secured. He didn't have a second lock. So what did he do? One man tied some rope on him. Now, it ain't going to take but a pair of scissors or a boy scout to un uh, unhook that knot. But uh, shout out to this guy for his ingenuity. This is a very undesirable bike. It's got fenders on it. It's old school kickstand on the back rim. He locked it up, but once again, they got his seat. Seats are worth money. If you could walk up, if you're a thief, and you could walk up and steal $30 every night from hundreds of different bicycles, then uh, that's what you do. Yo, this guy got locks everywhere. Front tire to the frame to the to lock to the uh, bike stand. Back tire to the frame to the bike stand. It's got a lock for his seat. This guy's good money. It's not a desirable bike, but he's smart, and they're not gonna steal his shit. His shit is locked up. He's got the front, the back, everything locked up, but guess what? His seat is gone. Even this little foldable mini bike. The guy's got a U-lock. He doesn't have anything protecting his rims, but what are you going to do? But he's got a lock that locks his seat down. Ain't nobody stealing his seat. Here's another bike. You can see he took his chain and he put it through the back rim and through the uh, the bike rack however he didn't do it with his front rim and that's why it's gone and of course the seats are always gone unless you're smart 
Let me show you this guy here. This guy's bike is a piece of crap, but look what he did. He took off the quick releases, so it's very hard to take these off unless you've got a specialized tool. Okay? He has a U-lock, which prevents you from taking the front rim. It's connected to here. He has a big-ass metal kryptonite lock, which locks you to the pole. So that ain't going nowhere. And then he throws in this thing, whatever the hell kind of lock this is, to make sure his back rim is going nowhere. This guy has five locks on his bike, and then he has one for the seat. You see that? His seat ain't going nowhere. So this is not a desirable bike, but he's really smart. This is how you lock up your bike in New York City, folks. This guy, uh, I don't know how this happened. Because he has a new lock here but his rim is gone. So he chained this, he chained the frame to this thing, but not the rim. This guy is probably the biggest idiot of the day. And he came back and his shit is gone. If he didn't chain this rim, this rim would be gone too. So what did we learn today? I think the one thing we learned is that you cannot lock up your bike anywhere. I have a beautiful lock, I have a U-lock, I have a big cable lock on my new bike. I don't leave that bike anywhere. If I go into a store, it comes with me. I don't lock it up, I don't leave it, I don't have a kickstand. That's the safest thing you can do if you own a bike. Now, if you have to go in, we don't want to chain it up where there's another bunch of bikes that are already stripped. That's a bad location, bruh. Don't do it. We don't want to chain it up without chaining up the rims, front and back. We want to make sure that we have a lock for our seat. And whatever you do, if you come back and something is taken off your bike, take that shit home. If you leave it overnight, they will get you. I know it's a short video, but the number one rule is don't lock up your bike anywhere. You can't trust anyone.